This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Gamefly. Today on TRS, we put one movie against the other and find out which one's the best in Versus. Welcome back to Versus, the segment where we head over to the website flickchart.com are given two movies mm. to choose which is the greater of, and from that compile a list of our favorite movies of all time, Yep. as well as a list of shame of movies that one of us or, or, or more have not seen. Yeah. Uh, if you want to see our lists, go to flickchart.com slash totally rad show. And uh, here we go, let's start yeah, it off. That's Super. right, all right, here we go, first one. The Born Identity versus Wedding Crashers. Born Identity. Born Identity. Okay. I like Wedding Crashers as a it's comedy. Right. Wedding it's Crashers is an fun. amazing comedy. It's, uh, it's good. Uh, it's but Born, Born, Born Identity, Born Identity is, I mean, that's that that changed action movies to me. I was like, that was the beginning of, I, I love all new action movies. Interesting. I'm, I prefer I the know. sequels. Really? I, I think, think the first they, one was I think that I think kind of like Lethal Weapon or um, I feel I feel like the the Born series is more identified by um, the style that was in play in the, in the sequels than the first one. Uh, I just went back and saw the first one. Yeah. And it was very much the same craziness. Not but quite, I will not say quite, not quite the same. Maybe not quite the same. But I remember disliking a couple of the. Previous you didn't like one. the third one. I didn't like the third one. Yeah, at but all. the second one. The second one was good, but I Quite prefer good, the first. Good, yeah. All right, how about Terminator Three mm -hmm. versus Constantine? Constantine, Constantine. Love Constantine. Constantine is great movie, man. Yeah, I love it. Terminator Three, not good. Ending, <laughs> cool. Terminator Three, not good. Finding Nemo okay. versus Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Finding oh Nemo. my God, the OG one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yeah, said that Finding, Finding Nemo. Yeah, Finding Nemo. Yeah, I think Finding Nemo, but. Still, it's kind of cool that that came up. I'm wishing. Collateral versus Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Last Crusade. Last Crusade, yeah, but Last which Crusade. one was Collateral? Was that the one with Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forrest Gump versus Rush Hour. Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump. I love Forrest Gump. I, I was working at the movie theater when that movie was out, and I would <laughs> go in on every break and watch parts of it. I adore, I adore the soundtrack. I adore the experience of that movie. I, I, I love it. Yeah. Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. All three? All three of them. Versus Bowling for Columbine. Bowling for Columbine. Yeah, easy, easy, answer. easy for me too. The Narnia uh, movies. You know, I hate to say this, but uh, I think Bowling for Columbine is on my sh list of shame. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not a big uh, 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 political documentary guy. Hmm. Although I did see, what was the one that he did about? Sicko? Not sicko. The one about uh, not Fahrenheit. The one um, that was about uh, the uh, collapse of the economy. Cap, cap, uh, capitalism. Capitalism, a love story. story. Yeah, yeah. 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 I saw I that one on a plane, that. and that was really good. Yeah, they all it. are yeah. very good. All right. Uh, did you like so, Narnia? It was okay. I didn't like Narnia. Uh, Narnia versus Platoon. 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 I love Platoon. Platoon. I, like Platoon. Platoon. I don't love Platoon, but I like it. Okay. It's not my favorite. Better than the Narnia. Vietnam movies. How no. about The Matrix versus Million Dollar Baby? The Matrix. I really yeah, like the Million first Dollar Matrix. Baby, I really love Million Dollar Baby too, but the yeah, first Matrix is pretty yeah. awesome. First Matrix is like a touchstone movie for me. Rush Hour 2 versus The Matrix Revolutions. Rush, Rush Hour, Hour 2. Matrix uh, Revolutions. Uh, hang on. Matrix Revolutions is awesome. I don't care. No, I'm trying no, to, I don't no, care no, who knows no, it. No, no, no. I don't no, care who no. knows it. That you can attack, say that. That, la that battle sequence, I was choked up. It was awesome. Yeah, that was I, the, I felt that way too in the theater. We always talk about it, but I, when I when I revisited no, it, the, that's it didn't the, do as much that's for me. That's the thousand shitty CG fights. No, not uh, that one. The second one he's talking about. The second one is he's the talking about the mech fight. fight. Yeah, no, 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 I remember the mech fight, but I was that like, was well, great. I don't want to be here, I want to be in Superman world where I can do crazy shit I, I like time. that mech fight. I might go with Revolution. I'm just, what Rush is Rush Hour 2? What is that? 
the movie. No, what happened? Whichever two is the one where he's like goes down China, the big yeah. thing in China. No, I'll go with Revolutions. That movie was alright. What? I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. Revolutions, it. really? You are. Revolutions. You were saying you're against it right now. Wow. You chose Matrix Revolution. That's the third over one, right? Movie. Yeah. Third yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. 2005. Yeah. So I don't know. It's not it Reloaded. It's the second one. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's something about Mary versus Constantine again. Constantine. I'm gonna say there's something oh, about, Mary. Wait a about Mary. Something about Mary. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta give it. Just, just, just give it. Just give it. Mean, <laughs> gotta give it. Just that give changed it. comedy. So. Yeah. It yeah. changed hairstyles. It's not love, mine. Ironically. Love is in, love is in the hair. It changed how I ever talked about Frank's and beans. Oh man. Twelve monkeys. Twelve monkeys, 12 monkeys versus monkeys. Panic Room. Twelve monkeys. Panic Room. You know, it has been so long since I've seen 12 Monkeys, I must have, seen both. have no idea. Panic Room I really liked a lot, so I'm tempted to go with I that went because back, I don't remember 12 I went Monkeys back well. and saw 12, 12 Monkeys, Monkeys and it, it's it's a little it's a little windy. I know people love it and yeah. I don't remember much of it. I don't think I've seen it in years and years and years. Yeah. So I feel I was unqualified turning. to make this decision. Do you remember the ending of 12 Monkeys? Barely. I mean, I remember how it made me feel. Yeah. Do you, but do you remember what the twist was? No. Wow. I don't even tell remember. Us, tell us offline because now I don't kind of remember. You don't remember the twist of 12 Monkeys? That's what, I kind of like, I don't either. <laughs> no one so remembers it you, Dan. You guys should all revisit it then. Yeah, we should. I, know, I mean, so, I just saw it, but. So which but is not, it? I don't, I don't qualify. I'll say 12 Monkeys. Panic, you can't, you can't abstain. Yeah, Panic Room. It's a tie. You're saying Panic Room is good. Oh, yeah. Panic Room is really good. It's great, dude. good. I feel bad going against 12 Monkeys just because I don't remember it. You gotta make a choice right now. Which one did you remember? Panic Room. Oh, you remember the there feeling of walking in? Panic Room. Uh, Panic Room. Done. Done. I'm sorry. Locked it I in. Apologize. Done. 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 Donnie Darko. Yeah. You remember that one? Mm -hmm. I do. Versus I Austin it. Powers, mm -hmm. The International Man of Mystery. That's the original Austin, Austin Powers. Powers. That's the original. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly don't like Donnie Darko. I, right. I like the feeling of Donnie Darko, but I don't like. Anything else about it? Apollo 13 Ooh. versus Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. No, Apollo, Apollo 13. 13. Really? Yes. Dude. I don't like Apollo 13. Really? Yeah. Did you leave your Tractor heart in we have a problem. San Francisco? Hmm. Uh, Star Wars Episode 1. Yeah, um, I don't remember that movie. <laughs> Do you remember that one? <laughs> uh, versus <laughs> The Untouchables. Untouchables. Yeah, the Untouchables. It's you know what you <laughs> You take, Jar Jar takes one of ours, we take two of theirs! That's the Chicago way! Forrest Gump, to say the Gunga Gunga that's Gunga Gunga the Gungan way. way. Forrest Gump versus Gunga The Shining. Was that? Forrest Gump, Forrest versus, Gump the versus The Shining. Forrest Gump versus The Shining. Whoa! It got real, guys. It I liked, got I liked Forrest Gump I'm gonna Forrest say Gump Forrest Gump. Gump. Mm. Really? Better than Red, Red, Red Rock. Oh, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. That's all, it's kind of blasphemous to say, because oh, Shining is held in such high esteem. Oh, By me and no others. Way. Both of them are. Yeah. I, lo I love Forrest Gump. I have a real affection for that film. Mm. So does the universe. No. Oh my <laughs> God. I'm part of the universe. I have an affection I mean, for it. These but are two, uh, I think The Shining is great. If, if somebody had to say, if somebody said, Alex, you're going to sit down and watch a movie, do you want to watch The Shining or do you want to watch Forrest Gump? It's an interesting way I of putting will, it. I will mm. always choose The Shining. I don't Shining know that I would go that way. Shining. I, I, once I saw The Shining, if I just saw The Shining yesterday, I don't need to see it again today. Dan, you're the decider. That's all part of the hypothetical question. <laughs> <laughs> hypothetical. No. You just recently if you just, saw... If you just saw both of them yesterday, you just which one do you want to watch saw, again? Exactly. What would you say? The Shining. You just saw it yesterday. You want to watch The Shining again? Why do we have to watch over, the same over, movie again? I don't get what you're... <laughs> Can we buy a new movie? Just pick a movie. <laughs> I might go with... Uh, man, I don't know, because I'm just trying to think of what was I more informed by. I'm probably more informed by... Shining, but I, I but like I, how the but I could criteria watch, for deciding always changes. But I could watch Forrest Gump more, over and over. I used to watch it. Me too. You know, on HBO, come on, just watch it. Big stinging, right? You couldn't turn it off. Like, Big old fat, right? I like go with Forrest Gump. Right. Forrest Gump. Like, it like, is. What is a better movie? Hey, the Did you get Forrest Gump? But also, Shining. What is it? I'm not what do you take away from that? But I know what love it is. Stanley Kubrick's awesome, and I don't want to. No, no, no. I mean, like, right? What do you take away from Forrest Gump? I mean. That, a lot. that idiots can be famous. <laughs> I look at just me. Hey! 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 He said Forrest Gump. Okay. He said Forrest Gump. Okay, okay next. Beetlejuice. Uh, Beetlejuice. Yeah. Yeah. Beetlejuice. You, can, you can't say it three times. No, I said three. it three times. By the way, community. Yes, amazing. community. Amazing. Uh, versus Home Alone. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. No brainer. Dan. Dan's going. Ah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beetlejuice. Yeah, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon Ooh. versus yes. Twister. Crouching Tiger and Dragon. Twister. Twister is as bad as Elden Ring. It is. No, I liked it. 
Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Which the new one. one. Um, you. Versus Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards mm -hmm. is friggin' awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't know. The Usual Suspects versus Gran Torino. The Usual Suspects. Oh, Torino. List of Gran Torino is terrible. List of Shame. I haven't seen Gran it's, Torino. It is terrible. Yeah, I thought it was pretty terrible. Yeah. I mean, it's it's awful. Yeah, that's why I haven't seen it yet. Usual Suspects versus American History X. American usual History Suspects. Suspects. American you, I'm going to say Ooh, Usual man. Suspects, but American wow. History X is amazing. Wow. But come on. Wow. Grindhouse. Really? What? Mm. Really? What? Well, Jeff mm. A winger? Jeff, Jeff Winger. <laughs> Grindhouse versus The Bourne Ultimatum. Wait, Born both Ultimatum. of them? What? Yeah, the two, it was one yeah. theatrical experience. Yeah. Oh god, Bourne Ultimatum, and I probably didn't like Bourne Ultimatum. Ultimatum. <sighs> I like Grindhouse, but Bourne Ultimatum is a better movie. Bourne Ultimatum, like Ultimatum it is. You like the first part, actually. Yeah, the first part. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this one's uh, pretty easy. Bugs Life versus The Goonies. 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 Bugs Life probably the weakest of all the picks. The really? Um, I like Bugs Life a lot. But just saying. But do you think <laughs> the weakest? The Illusionist. The Illusionist. The Illusionist uh, okay. versus The Fugitive. 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 Fugitive is a great movie. The Illusionist movie. was the. Uh, if anybody out there has Ed not Norton. seen The Fugitive, man, <clears throat> just a great movie. Yeah. Zoolander mm -hmm. versus yes. Predator. 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 I'm not, I'm not. Predator holds up, yo. So does Zoolander, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> The Big Lebowski versus Batman Begins. Oh, Big Batman Begins. Boy. Big Lebowski. Batman Begins. Listen, boy, I love the, the bat. I love the Batman. Big Lebowski, guys, come on, come on, Alex, come on, bro. It, dude, that movie just pulls the whole room together. <laughs> what? In the parlance of our times, Batman that movie, Begins. Fuck you. Uh. Fuck you uh, Batman Begins. It's a great it's movie. The beginning is the beginning of the Batman saga. Batman Chris Begins. Nolan. That did, is the did beginning. A, did of a it. big thing for for you, for the world that in which you for nerds and you cool. Batman Begins is a freaking big deal. Ten years from awesome now. Awesome and cool. Ten years from now, there will be a new Batman franchise that may be even better than the Christopher Nolan verse. There will never be another Big what, Lebowski that, movie like Big Lebowski. No, no, no. Big Lebowski is a classic. Even if there is another, it's a classic of American cinema. And Batman Begins, yeah. while a great genre film, while a wonderful piece of fantasy entertainment, it does more is than not it a more classic. Than no, it took the thing that you grew up reading, that no one else, that everyone picked on you. Tim Burton had already thing. done that. No, 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 no. Oh, he, he did didn't that. make it cool. Yes, he did. No, 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 no. You were, no how old were you was, in 1989? I was nine. Exactly. You weren't, not, you weren't 19. Yeah? It, it, Batman was cool. Everybody was wearing Batman t-shirts. I wasn't 19 either, but it was... I was like, wait, you were 19? About that. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, take just a second. I'm Man. saying... How old were you? Well, Batman Begins 14. 14. Yeah, junior high, yeah, junior high, that's still, that's it's one. In junior high Yeah, in junior high. It's still... different. Cool's a different thing in 9 and 14. Yeah, but was your dad wearing a Batman t-shirt? My dad's not wearing a Batman t-shirt because of Batman Begins either. Yeah, but that is an adult... Fit. Yeah, it's but he could cool. be. It's... Batman was cool Different. because of what Tim Burton did. No, I no, love Batman no, Begins. No, I'm not disparaging no, that film. No, it's not an that, American classic. Like it doesn't have to be. I don't think Big Lebowski is an American classic. Is an American classic. I, I believe it is. Yeah. Well, anyway. Okay. That's versus. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Contentious. What? Wait. How do you side on that? You, what, did, what did you say? Batman, Batman Begins. Yeah, That's Batman why begins. I lost. And right. and, and no, the Batman terrorists you won. Just no, you lose. Batman Begins won. Yeah. Exactly. I feel bad. Fighting so vehemently against a movie I love, as, as you should. But it's Big should. Lebowski. Watch out, Google. Great movie, but but it's not. It's, we're not saying Big Lebowski is a bad movie. It's not about that. Oh, I think you're playing. Maybe we can. All right, everybody, stick around. We're going to be answering one of your Twitter questions right after this. But first, Jeff Kanata sponsors. What is the biggest problem facing gamers today? Carpal tunnel syndrome. I would say, other than carpal tunnel syndrome, <laughs> seizures. <laughs> that is shockingly much lower on okay, the list. Okay, good, good. It Money? is, it is uh, shallow pocket syndrome. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. It is the fact that there are so many games <laughs> coming out. hitting a lot of kids these days. No kidding. Because so many games, especially this time of year, folks, this time of year, there are so many games being released. How can you possibly buy them all? The answer is you can't. Mm. You can't. You corn. That's why we have Gamefly. Gamefly is a service that allows you to pay a monthly fee and play as many games as you can possibly cram through your carpal tunnel seizure having body. I love it. They have over 7,000 new and classic titles across all the consoles, even handhelds. Ooh. You pay $15.95 a month, that's, about, that's the, where plans start, and you can rent 
one to four games at a time. Keep them as long as you like. There's no due dates, no late fees. Play the game, enjoy the game, send it back and get the next game. Nice. That is the sweetness that is Gamefly. If you dig the game and you want to keep it in your collection, yeah. then you click on the keep it, the little keep it bucket, bucket. <laughs> That's a button. But it, it looks like a bucket. <laughs> It's got a bucket. Oh, man. <laughs> bucket. It's a bucket. <laughs> uh, you, you click on that bucket, and then they send you the manual and all the fun stuff you get to keep for keeping the game in your collection. Uh, yeah, you get a 15-day free trial because you're a fan of our show. Dude, it's uh, worth so you can it. click all the buckets you want. It's done. In 15 gonna... days, check out GameFly.com/TTRS. The sensor, the totally rad show, and get your bucket on. Yep, go there in 15 days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, let's get. Uh... Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget. Gamefly.com slash TTRS. Gamefly.com slash TTRS. Join us tomorrow for some holiday gift ideas. Today's Twitter question comes from at LizardBeth. At LizardBeth asks If you could have any item from a video game in real life, what would it be and why? Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems kind of straightforward for me. Portal Gun. Portal Gun's pretty great. I mean, Portal pretty Gun, pretty, pretty, pretty great. Day. Although, pretty great. also, Bionic Commander, Grappling Arm. Yeah. Grappling Arm, pretty. I was, I was gonna say, <laughs> Grappling Arm, yeah. Um, there's a lot. There are, Ocarina of Time, let's just, do, 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 trans, going through time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're only going to really weird lands. Yeah, yeah. but you're not going think back, of the you songs. Go back and, plus, you gotta, I'm plus, the great songs no, you but play. plus, you gotta figure out how to play that thing. It's not like it comes with an instruction <laughs> manual. <laughs> You go, doo -doo -doo -doo, all of a sudden you're in the middle of like a, a sandstorm. Target. Yeah. You know, I gotta say, Mar oh, okay. Mario has some pretty great gadgets too. Some yeah, like, extra lives. <laughs> turn into a raccoon. You can, grow, you can become tail. larger. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you got that be cool, amazing. like cape that makes you fly. He's got a raccoon tail. Yeah, He's got fireballs. True. Fireballs are always helpful. Handy. That's true. In a true. pinch. Yeah. Some sort of fancy gun. Portal gun's pretty great. Yeah. yeah. Or even gravity gun would be pretty awesome for Half Life. For sure. Yeah. God, there's so many great. Get on that, scientists. <laughs>